creative artists, athletes, and scientists often attribute their ability to generate creative work to a supernatural state of freedom called flow. This is the state of dissolution with experience itself, where the boundaries between creator and creation are broken. The conscious mind is turned off, and the creator loses the notion of self, together with the perception of time and space. It is by entering in the state of flow that the subject dives deeply into the present moment and let his unconscious take command of the decision making. The tools of the artist become an extension of its body. Attention gets narrow. Perception starts shifting with ease between the micro components and the whole. During flow, the automatic response to edit your work at the same time that you that the work is built suddenly becomes unnecessary. It is at that moment that the artist releases the need to judge himself by the reference of what a good piece of art should be. He is only concerned about creating. The ego starts to dissolve as the artist follows his intuition and realizes that for the first time he is committed to do something that goes beyond himself. He becomes the instrument of the muses of inspiration. Now why should you care about the state of flow? Simply because it is through the process of getting out of your own way where most of your productive work will get done. Not only it is necessary to relieve pressure before a performance, a competition, a deadline, but it is as well the only way to find the activity you are doing intrinsically rewarding. Flow is a beautiful solution to put the daily doses of work without having the need to look continuously how much you are still missing to arrive to the finish line. The process in itself becomes the goal. Any extrinsic reward that comes from succeeding becomes secondary to the extraordinary performer. My advice is to create the awareness of your current level of skill without any judgment and carefully choose the level of difficulty you are engaging with. If the ratio is off, you will be either drawn down in boredom or consumed by anxiety. Never aim for something that is too easy for you. As much as it boosts your ego, it won't allow you to continue growing over time. In the same manner, environment from distraction and engage in an activity that captivates your curiosity. Learn to get yourself in that state voluntarily by practicing relaxation through breathing and observation. It is a muscle that only grows stronger by intentionally working on it. When you realize you lost the state, get it back before attempting to continue working. In my own opinion, it is thanks to the state of flow where your subconscious takes a leap into the very next battle without hoping to win the war on that same day. Embrace the state of flow and let the path of mastery become effortless. Good luck.